Okay, so Elle's getting ready to taste these meatballs that I can back at this stage. It just warmed it up. What's yours? It hot, right? Yeah. Why are you trying to grab it? Hey, man. <laughs> it was good. It was hot. That's good. Good. Hey, these things been here months ago. Man, these things like they just got cooked. They taste like they just got cooked, but these things are fire. Meatballs, yeah. Oh my goodness. Cannon works. Mm. Cannon works. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is the bomb. You gotta get some booze there. I don't care. <laughs> you know how old this shirt is? You see what it says? What y'all know about them old school? Mm. Mm. <laughs> that meatball good. Yeah, yeah, that was tight. Yeah. I'm right in the house, man. This is what I wear. I'm comfortable. Tanning works, man. That stuff is really good. I wanted to test it. I wasn't sure. I told her, if my stomach started hurting, it's going to be on and popping tonight. I'm going to be in the bathroom fussing. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. For the ground up. Now, can your food, man. It's better to have and not need than to need and don't have it. Remember that. And here are our canned meatballs. A couple of jars. Okay, here is our canned ground beef, and this is what we have in our pantry. And as you can see, we need to add more. So we're going to show you how we got to this point. What's going on? What y'all know about that me? What y'all know about that organic grass? grass. But anyway. Yeah, man, we're going to show y'all about this little can. This is how we do the little can thing. My wife always shows. Because it's that mush. 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 That's that moose meat, y'all. <laughs> y'all don't know. <laughs> that ain't moose meat, man. That's ground beef, y'all. But anyway, this is how we do, man. Go ahead and cook that thing up. Put whatever you're going to put in it. You know what I'm saying? You can season it. Yeah. I don't look like no seasoning, up, baby. I didn't season it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it don't look like it. I didn't. <laughs> I know. It don't look well, like I it. Well, I added salt. Okay, well, that's... Whatever. But anyway, back to this can. Let's see. You mush it like that and you stir it. I just keep doing it. This is my broth. If I run out of this, I'm just going to use um, hot water. And I prepared my canner already with the three quarts of water. Now I'm getting ready to pack the meat. So here are my quart sized jars. I'm getting ready to pack the ground beef in these jars. All right, next step guys, you gotta take the meat out. Get you a little funnel so it can go inside the jar good and not have a big mess all over the counter. And you fill the jar up. You know what I'm saying? With your cooked meat. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hurry up, girl. You have to leave an inch head space yep. once you fill yep. it up. Yep, yep, yep. And you gotta jug that thing. Jug that thing. Jug, jug, jug that thing. Jug it. Jug, 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 okay. jug it. Okay, Elvin. Oh, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I'm just packing the meat in a jar right now. Jug that thing. And once you finish packing it up to the required head space, then you're gonna add your broth of water. Some people dry pack it. Just put some meat in the hole. Now jug it. You know I'm a fool. Jug it, jug it, jug that thing. Jug it. Jug it. Oh my gosh. Jug it. Okay, <laughs> Let's go. And just continue this with all of your jars. And that's pretty much so it, this guys. This is the broth that I'm gonna add to. It's strong. And I'm 
just gonna keep doing this with all the jars. I'll come back when I'm finished. All right, next, man, you take this white distilled vinegar. You just wipe the tops of the jars to wipe all the juice off, you know, all the little grease, juice, you know what I'm saying, all that goodness off so it can seal properly. You know what I mean? And that's the end, guys. <laughs> we'll holler at y'all from the ground up, man. You know how we do. Stay true. You know it's more, right? Oh man, we got some more. <laughs> man, why oh, okay. listen? Man, we about finished, man. Them things, man. Look, look, screw take them out. Take them out. Hold on. Oh, Alright, watch this, y'all. No, you supposed to put them in a in a pot first. What we put them in a oh oh man, I forgot. We ain't even canning yet. I'm tripping, y'all. Yeah, we gotta put this thing on and see our fingers? Watch our fingers. That's what you gotta do. You gotta rub the top of your pot. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay, no, you align the triangles to help you seal the the I'm lid to the pot. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. Then you have to wait for your pot <laughs> to steam to let the pressure out. Sure. And the valve up front is gonna pop up once all the pressure is out of the pot. And you start your timer when the pressure gets to the correct PSI. Okay, so I set the timer for my ground beef and also for my meatballs, I set my timer for 90 minutes. And once the 90 minutes are done, you let it cool before you take the top off. And this is the finished product. Boom, bam. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be good, man. We go down, it's going to go down. You know what I mean? Like if it go down, it's going to go down. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. If there's a food shortage, we're going to be straight. Are y'all getting y'all stuff together? Y'all just watching our videos. Are y'all canning? Could y'all start getting it, please? Cause... The, this is the ground beef that I canned last night. I just took it out of the canner right here. Took it out of the canner and I let it cool. And I'm just going to take the caps off. So, it's a perfect seal. And I'm going to take the caps off of all of them. And for sure, I do believe that this one did not seal properly. But all the other ones, I believe, sealed fairly good. Okay, I'm going to take the seals off and clean the jars. All right, now. Y'all know what to do. Y'all better get the cannon because I ain't saying nothing in Jesus' name, I promise you.